Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing an upcoming horror game currently on Kickstarter called Dead Loop. This is the demo for it. I've avoided it until now because I was under the impression it was going to be another PT clone. Apparently, it's not though, so we're going to check it out. Let's go ahead and hit play. I know I've been playing a lot of demos lately. I sort of apologize about that. Sort of because they've mostly been really good. The team originally consisted of two people, a programmer, and a designer. Since this is their first game, about 75% of making the game has been spent in watching tutorials on YouTube and drinking to avoid depression. Hmm. That sure is a fun fact. Cool. So, I don't actually know what it's about. I was like, PT clone, obviously, from the title, but... Now that I know it's not that, I have no idea what to expect. And I didn't read the Kickstarter page, so... <laughs> Irresponsible content creator over here. Sorry. Okay. Failure is not falling down, but refusing to get up again. Is that Babus? Is that that typeface? Sure looks like it. All right. Um. Let's go ahead and uh, pick this up. It's driving me crazy. Where are you? I've been calling a million times. I'm at the office. I must have fallen asleep. Been pretty busy at work lately, but you know that already. You're always too busy for your family. You know I'm doing this for us. <laughs> and every woman wants freedom anyways. Be careful with how much freedom you give me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wonder if Aaron stayed overnight too. Honey, have you taken your pill? What? Of course. Of course I have. All right, get home on. Man, I hate what? the reception in this building. Let's see if Aaron's still here, though. Okay, this guy... <laughs> I like this voice actor. He's funny. Do I take this? I remember it like it was yesterday. What, is this a ring? I remember it like it was yesterday. Okay. Aw, there she is. My beautiful wife. Awesome. Huh. I like how items that you can pick up vibrate. On whatever surface they're currently resting on. Here we found, me to found my journal. journal. After all, women know everything. Let's get this over with. My name is Alexander Walker, and I've built the biggest graphic design company in the city. Alice Co. Took me 18 years of hard work and tough decisions, but here we are. I've got a lovely wife and a beautiful daughter, Liz and Alice. I hope she takes over the business one day. The beginning is always the toughest. Or so they say. Good thing I've had Aaron along my side. Loyal bastard's been through fire and ice with me. He ain't the brightest designer, but he is the best partner anyone could ever ask for. That's kind of mean. He's not he's not exactly smart, but he's he's loyal. He's not a dog, dude. He's he's your friend. All right, so I've noticed uh, Alex has made several comments about women so far. They uh, they they appreciate freedom, sick burn, and uh, they they know everything. Which is he was saying sarcasm there. There's a point zero point 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 at the bottom there. Not sure what that was all about. Anyway, so Alice is the name of his daughter. Makes uh makes sense. Dead loop. So th you're telling me this isn't a looping hallway. I'll believe it when I see it. Aaron Smith, partner. Hey, where's my not such a bright designer friend? Let's call somebody from his phone. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number. Well, might as well get home. Okay. Hey, by the way, probably not a good idea to have the HP logo in your game. Usually they have, um, rip-off company names for a reason. Wow, you got the- you got a legit building! Sheesh. Something very peculiar has been happening lately. Aaron's been bombarding me with these questions about Liz and our relationship. But whenever I try to get them to meet, he's always short on time. 
Guy has no wife, no kids, no nothing, yet he never has time to meet my wife. Due to that, she doesn't really think much of him either. It's just weird. Probably just me exaggerating, though, but... He has a crush on your actually, wife! Now that I think about it, she's been looking pretty stressed out recently. Spending too much time with Danny does that to a person, I guess. All the shopping and all that women talk. It just gets to you. This one has eight at the bottom. I don't know. I guess that's maybe a code or something. Dude, it's clear Aaron is in love with your wife. That's what's happening here. We got a love actually situation. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about it. Either that or they're having an affair. I don't know. He's very curious about her, but he doesn't want to meet her. Danny Heller's partner. Another... Oh, oh, somebody locked their their office. They didn't want me to go inside and snoop around. You know, I would be mad, but I, I applaud their appreciation of safety. This is not... Ah, uh, What was it? How do you not know? I can remember exactly how many sales we had in the first year. But for the life of me, I cannot remember this. That's a personal problem. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Uh, what's in there? This is a ridiculous conference room. Hang on. I sprinted too much. So he's got to catch his breath. Maybe work out a little bit, Alex. It's called exercise. Ever heard of it? You're gonna be getting plenty of exercise in the next 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna have you run in circles all around this building. Hopefully not from a moonster, but... That's locked. locked. Yes, you don't need to comment on it every time it happens, that's my job. Excuse me. Also, this tree is... terrific. Love it. What is this? And, since you're the best hubby one could ask for, here's a little something. May it always remind you of how much I love you. It says, I love you. Couldn't get one that says, I love ya, huh? I love you. Let's see. What a loving wife we have. Uh huh. For today, Liz finally introduced me to the person responsible Whoa. for the journal idea. Meet Dr. Know It All. Alex, you need this. Alex, I know how you feel. And Liz, we've always had bumps along the road, but this one, this is way out of line. How could she go behind my back? Damn it! Only a doctor can say so many words without actually saying anything. You need to take it down a couple could be my hundred notches. Wife is paying the doctor so she can keep me on a leash? He even mentioned I need to start taking some this will cure you pills or whatever. This is bullshit. I ain't taking anything. But I'll get her a psychologist. <sighs> really need to cool off. Yeah, that's an understatement. All right, so this is clearly the code. Starts with eight, then zero, then something, then four. So it's a four digit code. It's gonna get us into that room. I can't think of anything else it could be. Uh, this is something. I actually don't don't know what that is. All right, so we need to find one more journal entry and we'll have the last digit. It's gotta be something down this way. Alex, come on. Come on, buddy. You you can you can jog for more than a couple feet. I know you can. All right. <sighs> did you leave a journal page in the bathroom? Of course you did. Didn't you? Didn't you? What the hell is this? <laughs> this is a toilet. Look at that water. It's all blue. I mean, some some toilets do have blue water. But still, the shape of this is unprecedented. Amazing. Look at these urinals. How do they work? They don't drain at the bottom, and there's no way to flush them. <laughs> Seems inefficient. 
Okay, this one's dark. Uh, there's, there's nothing in here, so... Yeah, I like these bathrooms, though! It's got that executive suite feel to it. But it's just, they're for everybody, you know? They're public. It's very nice. Open up. Okay. Did you really expect a working elevator for the demo? Oh. You're better than that. Breaking the fourth wall. I don't know if I like it or not, but locked. You know, if everyone was as organized in their work as they are with setting this whole prank up, we'd be at the top. Prank? What I prank? Think it's not just going to magically unlock itself. Let's keep pressing it. Oh, that's it. He ran out of lines. <sighs> Still locked. Huh. Huh? Nope. I don't know what he was talking about with the prank. Okay, so... We actually don't need to find... The last, uh... Locked door. Last digit. Someone must I, be hiding something. Someone no must be hiding something? Reason to break in. Yeah. I don't know. He, he talks to himself quite a bit. You know, I don't need to find that last note, I think. I think I could just do eight, zero, one, four, eight, zero, two, four. Ow. Maybe you're supposed to do that? I'm not sure. You can't just trial and error it. None of this is real. Hmm. You don't say. Is that a mushroom cloud over the door? No. A tree? Maybe it's just the weird lighting. They're all dead. Who? Who's they? My family. My employees. We got ourselves a twist here, everybody. What's this? What's this? What's this? You... You're... Sexy. What does it say? You're- Oh, you're sick. That's quite a bit different. Not- not nearly as fun. Thought the wall was gonna compliment me. And what's beyond this door? Okay. Ooh. What's this? What's this? Hang on. I got myself a flashlight. Alright. We'll t I'll take it for now. I'm surprised our over <laughs> overly talkative protagonist hasn't commented on the change of scenery yet apparently he's cool with it okay something right here it's a it's a key it says loading sorry i know you can't see it i know it's inconvenient for my face to be over here but So yeah, this is probably a good time to mention this game has a Kickstarter campaign, which is linked in the description. I believe their project has about a week to go, and they're far away from their goal. That's okay. So something got loaded here. Can I go back? It looks like there's a note. Nope. There's a keypad, but it doesn't open. It doesn't doesn't even give me the option of like using the keypad. Odd. What? It opens? Okay. That's weird. Okay, we're, we're back out here. Can I go back in to these places? Ooh, we can go in here now. Danny Hellers. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Was it Doll Divine? Why does it have an anime check on it? Uh, okay. 
Acer, again, I don't know if corporate logos are the best idea to plug in here. But, uh, alright, there's, um, there's nothing in here we can interact with. It looks like I'm pressing E on tons of stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna point this out. The flashlight leaves much to be desired, in my opinion. It, uh, it does not do a good job of lighting up this hallway at all. <laughs> when you point it down the hallway, you can't see anything. Like, I can't, I can't see hardly anything. So that's definitely something to maybe adjust in the future. Also, unlimited sprint. Please. Please. Teddy bear's gone. Doesn't look like there's anything in here I can interact with. Okay, I did get a key though, and this was locked earlier. It just says partner. Okay, I did unlock it. What? Open it. Open what? Open what? Open it. Open what? You can't just say open it. Oh. What's this? Open what? This? It's a bloody knife. Take it. Alex, what are you doing? Put that away. No! Stop! No! Ah! Hmm. Woke up in a dream today. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So he, so he killed his wife? I'm a little, a little confused. That wasn't a good what, by the way. It wasn't like, oh, my mind's been blown. What a crazy twist. That was like, uh... That was very predictable. I wonder, okay, so... My friend Kat played this. Shout out to Kat. Link to her channel in the description. She played this. I think she said that there are two different endings. Yeah, you should, it said you should try playing without taking the pill, I think is what it said. That's what I was about to say. Well, we should try again. All right, let's do it. <laughs> and every woman wants freedom anyways. Be careful with how much freedom you give me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't understand what the joke to. is there. Honey, have you taken your pill? <sighs> okay, this time we're gonna say not really. She immediately hung up. Where are you, man? That's my line. The party started 30 minutes ago. What party? Come on, man. I've been telling you about this party every day for a month now. If we're celebrating on fire in here, it's gonna have to happen on a daily basis. <laughs> you really don't remember, do you? Get your beautiful butt to the new club. Why you call my butt beautiful? Kinda odd. Alright, so that's the only different thing that's happened. Uh, also, so far, I've been looking at the notes, the code is different. So far we've got... Oh, it's in the room. Okay, hang on. The heck was that? So it's 1-3 so far, is what I was gonna say. The notes are the same, too. Still locked. Okay. So we got we got one and three so far. And two more numbers we gotta find. Man, he he runs out of breath so fast. He is so out of shape! Is Teddy Bear still here? Yes. Does it say I love for you again? Only one way to find out. Yeah, it does. This time it just spins around. And we don't have that flashback. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this is the same... Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. What? 
it says sinner, 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 sinner. And looks like there's some eyes there. Last number is four, so two, three, blank four. One, three, seven, four. That was it. All right, open up. It's the same thing. None of this is real. I'll let you guys know if it says anything different. The chains are moving around this time, though. That is... That is something a little bit different, because in the last... The last attempt, everything was just kind of staying still. They're all dead. Other than that, the messages are the same. Hmm. What? What the? What was that? <laughs> I have no idea. That was different. I have my flashlight on right now. Check it out. Watch, watch, watch. See, there it is. <laughs> no, the flashlight really needs to be improved. All right, here we go. Open up. Alright, we got Slenderman out here enjoying the sights. Hi. Who... Who are you? Thou am. I am the demon pure to minds created. And the sins of committed. I am you. What? What sins? He doesn't remember. Have you forgotten so easily? Pity. All right, so that was the second ending to the dead loop demo. Feel like uh feel like it's all just very heavy-handed so far. Everything from finding the knife cover with the blood and ah oh, you killed your wife to like a tall slender creature with a demon voice telling the main character that he represents his guilt. I don't know. There's nothing unexpected. There's nothing innovative. It... I, I think it's attempting to be psychological horror, but I'm just not buying it yet. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, Really nothing special right now, just based on the demo. I do think it's cool that you can make a choice in the demo. So hopefully in the full game, you'll be able to make like a bunch of different choices. It'd be cool to play a horror game where you have like a branching choice path. Uh, seems like that's really the separating characteristic of this so far, because everything else is kind of, you know, on the nose, typical horror stuff that we've seen quite a few times before. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just not, it's not doing it for me, but, you know, like they said in that fun fact, this is, I think, their, their first time attempting a game. So, like, that's great. We, I think we need more people attempting to make games, for sure. And, you know, getting practice in and messing around, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. As far as putting your first game on Kickstarter, I, I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, the link is in the description if you would like to support uh, the funding. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Deadloop. Um, that's about all I have to say about it as well. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.